Hi, Nikki. Yes, well, these are comments the governor made during a virtual press conference he shared with mayors across the state of California discussing Prop 1. But the conversation took a different turn when the governor mentioned this instance, this back and forth he had with an employee at a Sacramento area target location. Now, we're not sure he didn't specify which location he was in at the point. But according to him, this employee laid all the blame for retail theft at the feet of the governor himself. Are you blaming the governor? And a target employee really placing blame squarely on Governor Gavin Newsom's doorstep, according to the state's leader, after he says a shoplifter took off without paying. And I was like, why am I spending $380? Everyone can walk the hell right out. Newsom sharing the storytelling sidebar during a Proposition 1 virtual press conference, including mayors from across the state. And then I said, well, why are you stopping? She goes, oh, the governor. I swear to God, true story. On my mom's great. The governor lowered the threshold. There's no, there's no, there's no accountability. There's no, I said that's just not true. The threshold in question, $950 passed by Proposition 47 voters in 2014, raising the felony charge for retail thefts up from $400. We're sick of this stuff, and tell thieves that you know, knock it off, especially here. Sergeant Tamar Gandhi, a spokesperson for the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office, says in. What he characterizes as decriminalizing shoplifting as one of the main reasons for more retail crime. And to be clear, law enforcement, including Sacramento Sheriff's deputies, have and can still arrest thieves on misdemeanor charges. But ultimately, this has to go back to the voters. In the 2023 survey, the National Retail Federation ranked Sacramento the seventh worst city in the country for retail crimes. Los Angeles and Bay Area cities, Oakland and San Francisco, topped the list. But after public bouts with Target, Walgreens, and the California Retailers Association, Gandhi tells Fox 40 the stores are now open to shared security. They do want to work a lot more with us. They do want to work hand in hand. They've met with us behind the scenes. Uh, we've done operations in a lot of these stores recently that are combating retail thefts. And legislators are listening too, attempting to strengthen sentencing for serial shoplifters. Assembly Bill 1772 requiring at least six months of jail time for thieves with repeat convictions. You can't just walk in to Target, steal $950, then go to Walmart, steal $950. There's got to be some cumulative effect. There's got to be some legislation to address that. So back in October of last year, the governor did approve about $260 million in state grant money to go out to local law enforcement agencies across the state in order to combat retail theft. Now, Amar Gandhi there with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office tells me they received just over $9 million, which they've utilized to go towards beefing up their investigative unit that investigates retail crimes. And they've done coordinated more operations at larger retailers, which have led to more arrests, Nikki.